when Hashem wanted to create uh, Adam and Eve, so he actually wanted to reflect in the most noble way a creation that will be um, that will seem in the highest level that will project the highest light of of them all he wanted to create a creation that will be one like him and that does not have male and female and does not multiply like him that does not mate and is completely holy and perfect and that does not have needs that's what he wanted but since the first moment he created adam and eve in one in that perfection that he desired adam started to run away he had desires he had lusts when the beautiful form of oneness of godliness got into physicality, even in the thinnest and, and most gentle and, and lovely and beautiful and pure and holy way, thin dress that was covering it, thin skin, tiny crust that was covering it, because it's written, could not all, that their fabrics, like their skin, was made out of light, not even leather. It was like super holy. It's written that the heel of the first man was shining in a greater light than the sun of creation, of Bereshit. So Adam and Eve were like so pure and so holy and so magnificent, but still Adam started to run away. And when he saw animals that came to the world in pairs, he already felt like something is wrong and he misses his wife and he needs a mate and he needs a female. And he cried to Hashem that he was sad and why all the animals have mates and he doesn't have. So Hashem realized there is no choice, no way, and had to cut him, to divide him, and brought a female from him, from his own feminine side, out to a form of a woman and put him put her in his lap and that's it and they loved each other in a most wonderful way but things kept on falling and she went and had her thing with the snake and he had his things with whatever external powers that were surrounding him and men started to kill each other and rape each other and destroying each other until today but the godly soul is will and will always will always be the godly soul means the soul of god means that first complete reflection just that it broke down to tiny pieces and and those are us now you have kudsha berichu ushchinte you have the male side akadosh baruchu and the shchina akadosha is the feminine and entity is the most like holiest side of 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 the female side, so to speak, of the Creator. Now, for us, in reality, the thing is that actually the light of all men together is the light of Kudsha Berichu, and the light of all women together is the light of the Shekhinah Kedusha. And inside all men, there is also a female side. And inside all women, there is also a muscular side. So there is something like very, very deep, very, very complex. But if you look deep into yourself, what that you will find is that godliness that is treasured inside of you. Now, the main thing to understand is... Okay, the beauty, okay, the light, but what with all the, 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 the rapists, what with all the murderers, what with all the, the wicked women and evil and like lousy <laughs> face of men and, and, and characters of evil dogs that are walking in the streets? Like where Akadosh Baruch Hu and the Shekhinah fit into that? So after the destruction means after few destructions after all aspects of destructions it's written on hashem himself that hashem himself fell to sadness that hashem himself has anger 
that Hashem himself has certain behaviors that are written on him, and it's like mind-blowing, it's hard to grasp and understand, that he fell like a drunk man on the ground, that he fell to deep sleep of over 70 years, that he, that the Shechina is screaming, Kalani Meroshi, Kalani Mezroi, Kalani means cursed me, means like hit me, like she's screaming, uh, refusing to to get any kinds of uh, of 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 like uh, 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 apologizing, she's not accepting, no apologizing. Me'anali nachem, and she's screaming. Hashem cursed me in my arm. Hashem cursed me. The pain of the shechina is, is 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 horrific. The shechina is screaming. Kalani meroshi, kalani mizroi. He cursed me to my head, he cursed me to my arms, and, and me'anali nachem, she's refusing to get any kind of condolences. And and she, and like now, take that reflection and understand that you're talking on the biggest, biggest thing of them all, like Hashem, okay? So like when Hashem refused to, 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 to accept any apologies, and like when Hashem is is sad, and when Hashem is depressed, and Hashem, like, uh, boom, Hashem, like, Kud Shabrichu, Shechinte, or angry, Charon Apo, like, he's upset, like, like, listen, now dragons gonna fly, and swords will be raised, and people will be thrown to the gutters, and women's heads will be cut, and men's hands will be mm, taken off, and children will be hurt, and like, it's, it's a reflection. Now it's hard, it's painful, it's impossible to grasp and understand. But the truth is the truth. And there is nothing but the truth. So help us God. There is only one thing that we can do. And it's tshuva. It's to come back to Hashem, to tell I'm sorry, I understand. I have a, a part in the in the massive bloodshed, I I like all right. Let me see how I can stop shedding blood. How can I stop the judgments? How can I fix myself? How what can I do to correct myself? Like that's the only but only but only thing that can be done. And except for that, there's nothing to do. Tefila, tshuva, utzdaka, mamtikin et roag zerat. Tefila, prayer, tshuva, atonement. And tzedakah, charity, to do good things, are the only things that are sweetening and canceling judgments. That's the only, only, only solution.